everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica, and if it's your first time here, welcome. So happy that you can be here today. If you haven't checked out my last video where I show you guys all of my bookish gifts that I got for Christmas slash my birthday, go ahead and check that video out. I had a lot of fun filming that. If you haven't already, make sure that you go ahead and subscribe to my channel as well so you don't miss out on any new videos. So today I'm going to be doing my final wrap up for the year. It's crazy to think that 2020 is almost over, but I have to say I am quite happy that it is finished. We're going into a new year and I'm certainly hoping that 2021 is a lot better we really do need some good news. So I'm gonna be giving you guys my final December wrap up. This is it, it's finito, it is done. We're going into the new year with some new books. So without further ado, if you wanna see all the books that I read in December, keep on watching. The first book that I read is The Silence of Bones by June Her. This book is set in the 18th century of the Joseon dynasty in South Korea. It focuses on a young woman named Seoul. She is an indentured servant who's tasked to follow around the investigation bureau or like the police bureau um, as they try to discover this really brutal murder that occurs to this woman. Overall, this story is really fun. I had a blast with it. I love that it was set in South Korea. I definitely want to read more Korean authors. So even though this story is set in the 18th century, it feels very modern with like the detectives and investigating. And it really feels like a big CSI case that you're trying to figure out. Um, I really, really enjoyed this book. I gave it four stars, highly recommend. It's good if you want an adventure story, you want a little bit of mystery. And I loved reading from her perspective. I love reading about like strong women um, centered in the story. So this was a real treasure to read. This next one that I read is Six of Crows by Leah Bardugo. And I'm not gonna go much into this one because I already filmed a book review on this book and most of you guys already know what Six of Crows is. It's pretty much a gigantic heist story. This book was also really fun to read. I mean, it definitely isn't a favorite of mine, but I had fun reading it. Again, make sure you watch my video to see all of my thoughts. As for continuing the Six of Crows trilogy, I don't know. I mean, it was fun, but it just wasn't a favorite of mine. I thought that uh, the story itself is very character centered and it didn't focus a lot on the adventure part, which I was really hoping it would do. So I am excited about the TV show that is coming out with this, with the Six of Crows and like the Shadow and Bone series. So I will be watching that. Yeah, overall I gave this one a four stars because I did think that it was so fun to read, just wasn't a favorite fantasy story for me. So this next book that I read is Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishiguro. Oh my gosh, you guys, I, I don't even know what to say about this book. It certainly isn't good. I believe I put this on my worst books that I read for the year. I absolutely hated this book. I don't even know what it is about because it confused me so much. Um, I think it's like a, a story of these students. It is a story of some students. They're essentially clones and they are like forbidden to have sex with each other. And I think that, um, I, guys, I don't even know what this book is about. I barely even finished this thing. I was so confused throughout the entire length of this. Yeah, I almost like did not finish it. I think I just pushed through because I literally had like 50 pages left. Couldn't even tell you what it's about because I was lost most of the time. Maybe I just was not in the right mindset to read this. I don't know, but definitely would never recommend this. I gave this book one stars. Yeah, sorry, but not sorry. <laughs> So this next book I read is This Time Next Year by Sophie Cousins. I actually read this one for my book club called The Literary League. And I also know this one was a really popular one during December because it is kind of a holiday book. Well, not really, it's more like a New Year's book. But this one follows two characters, a woman named Minnie Cooper 
and a man named Quinn Hamilton. They both are born on the same exact day. I believe it's like New Year's Eve or New Year's Day in 1990, and they end up living very different lives. So Minnie is very unlucky with whatever she does. She's struggling with her career and her business that she has and just everything wrong happens to her, it seems like. Whereas Quinn Hamilton is completely the opposite. He has a thriving career. He's rich, he's successful, he's handsome, he's pretty much the whole package and everything good happens to him. He's a very, very lucky, lucky guy. As you guys can imagine, the book is about how their lives intermingle with each other. They fall in love and it's pretty much about them balancing their work, their love life, their family, and everything else that kind of encompasses their relationship. This one was definitely not a favorite of mine. Um, I will say that the beginning portion of the book was really good. It was strong. I liked getting to know each of the characters and sort of the backstories. But then that second half of the book, I just, it fell off for me. I really thought that it was too much back and forth with the characters figuring out like, do they like each other? Are they right for each other? It was just a whole balancing act that I really didn't like. Another thing I really don't like in a lot of romance stories is that very stereotypical romance trope where the woman is always mm. the one that is like struggling, whether it's with her career or just in life in general. And then this rich man Bonjour. like swoops in and pretty much saves the day. I really, really hate um, tropes like that in romance stories. So that really turned me off when it was a very stereotypical like girl who's down and out meets rich man and you know who comes and saves her and spends all this money on her. Really didn't like that. Um, but I will say if you are a heavy romance reader or you just want something that's quick, easy, and fun. Give it a go. It certainly wasn't my favorite. I think I gave this one a two, two stars, two out of five stars on Goodreads. Yeah, it just wasn't for me. The last book that I read for the month is Circe by Madeline Miller. This one I was really excited to read because I heard so many good things about it. And I'm happy I ended the month with a solid read considering I read some iffy books this month. I don't know. So this one is about Circe, obviously. She is a descendant of Zeus. However, she doesn't have uh, the strength and the power or the beauty like all of the other gods and goddesses. She is essentially banished by Zeus after she discovers she has some very like witch power elements. Um, so she's banished off into this island all by herself and pretty much curates um, this island into its own land. And it's pretty much her battling between the mortal world and the immortal world and how she's trying to protect her sons who are like half, I think they're demigod demigods. I can't remember completely, but I think they're demigods. Um, anyway, it's a really in-depth book about Cersei. I did enjoy it. I will say the first half of the book really captured me. The second half of the book, I got a little bit lost in the sauce of what was actually happening, but still it was a solid, read. I would recommend this one if you like Greek mythology, if you like reading about gods and goddesses. This one was a really good book. I gave this one a four stars on Goodreads. All right guys, so those are all of the books that I read in December. I only read five books, which, you know, typically is a little bit on the shorter end for me, but that's perfectly fine. I had a really good Christmas and a good holiday, so I was more focused on that, which is, you know, more important anyway. Um, but overall, these books were pretty good. I mean, I had like, what, two, I think two four stars and the rest were like, eh, they were all right. Maybe next month, maybe next year, I'm hoping to read a little bit more solid books, especially books that I have truly invested and researched. And so I'm hoping and crossing my fingers that these books are like, either all four stars or some five star reads. I'm hoping that I get there for next month. So we will see, I'll keep you tuned. Thanks so much for watching this video. Continue helping me get to 100 subscribers. You all have been fantastic in your support. So thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. Let me know in the comments below, what was your favorite book that you read for the month? 
If you like this video and you want to see more videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, follow me on Instagram so you never miss out on anything that I post. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!